Maria, by the very force of nature of who she is, should be honored by having her name put on this airplane. She has made her mark in this business. It's a love story. Pratt Whitney is a love story for her. Maria is a visionary. That's the kind of person she is. She sees the opportunities in people more than people can see it in themselves. It's a great testament to her legacy and everything that she's achieved at the business of Pratt Whitney. She pushes for that transformation, and I think that's why this recognition is so worthy of Maria's name on that plane. She's such an identifiable representation of our values, our culture, and more importantly, what we aspire to be. I was attracted to, to Pratt Whitney from uh, very early on, right out of university. So when I had the opportunity to come to Pratt Whitney Canada, I jumped on it, and uh, that was more than th 37 years ago now. My growth has been inextricably tied to the growth of this company. When I joined, we had two product lines, and today we have more than 12 product families. So it's been a great journey, continues to be a great journey. For a young female in a really male-dominated environment, to have someone like Maria to look up to was uh, incredible. I try to create an environment where uh, everyone can flourish. Everyone's fingerprints are on this company's success. Just like iron sharpens iron, people sharpen people. And that's what she's done with me. She saw my potential. When I'm in a meeting and I look around the table, I sit in awe of the exceptional talent that has made their way to this glorious place. Mm -hmm. So you walk into a meeting with Maria, you have an initial series of thoughts, and you walk out of that meeting with what needs to be done. She helps to take it to the next level. So Maria did start a Women in Leadership Committee at Pratt Whitney Canada. The core mission is provide an opportunity for women to grow equally and equitably. Representation is important. If you don't have anyone to look up to, if you can't see yourselves in the leaders out there, then it's hard to imagine yourself and it's hard to have these ambitions. It's a big, big recognition to Maria and the legacy. It's a message to all the women out there. I fly on the wings of all the incredible women who've contributed and who are contributing to the incredible success of this business. But we also have a duty and a responsibility to do it always more sustainably, more uh, responsible. Maria has always been at the forefront to help architect a future for aviation. She was right there challenging us to say, what is that next generation of product look like? And what do we need to be doing now in order to set ourselves up to be the leader and to show the world that aviation can be what everybody wants it to be. We're driving to lead the way towards ever more sustainable aviation, whether it's in our hybrid electric demonstrator program or leveraging the huge customer base that we have to contribute towards offset programs or in uh, designing and defining and advancing the use of sustainable aviation fuels, which we all know is a big component in the short term. She wants Pratt & Whitney to be not just the best aerospace company in the world, but the best aerospace company for the world. It's an honor to be able to represent the incredible people of Pratt & Whitney and most importantly the, the pioneering spirit that has always guided us from the very beginning. Well, and I congratulate the, the people at Frontier doing it responsibly and sustainably and also bringing in an element of uh, fun and uh, creativity in the way that they connect with people. I think aviation has the power to change the world. There are people who rely entirely on our ability to get products, medicine, education to them. That's what drives us every day. To be able to do it with such an exclusive and uh, world-class team, it's a love story, what can I say? It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs>